Are you wondering what cool stuff happens in Vernon in October prior to Halloween? There's tons. Well, there's five cool things for sure. We're gonna look at all of those five things and we're starting now. I'm Lisa Salt with Remax Vernon Salt Fowler and I believe people want to know what's to do in Vernon leading up to the awesome Halloween holiday. Actually, it's not a holiday, it's just a day. However, it's a fun day and Vernon does a great job of celebrating it with these five cool events. And before we talk about those, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video as we're posting new videos like this every single week. On this channel, we give you the straight goods on Vernon and the whole Okanagan, our ultimate Four Seasons Paradise. Whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days or just curious about the area that we call home, be sure to call, text or email and just add salt. Number one is to get your pumpkin on at the Pumpkin Patch at 642 St. Anne's Road, where you can pick your own pumpkin, squash, ornamental corn, gourds, all sorts of cool stuff. We love the Pumpkin Patch. In fact, you know, we love it so much that we have our customer appreciation and charity event every year in October at the Patch. We just held it actually and it was another great event. If you're wanting to attend next year for some food, drink and free pumpkins, let us know and we would be happy to hook you up. The Pumpkin Patch, despite the descriptive name, is not only about the pumpkins actually. Au contraire, it is about squash for a buck. A dollar for a squash, no matter what the size of the squash is. And decorative corn, corn stalks and gourds are also all for sale. The Glacars, who, by the way, are some of the nicest people you will ever meet, started the Pumpkin Patch over 20 years ago now. Their whole idea was to have a place for families to come and just enjoy the pumpkins. It gives children the opportunity to see how the pumpkins grow and the chance to pick out their very special pumpkin to bring home and create their special jack-o'-lantern. The whole objective of the pumpkin patch is to keep the process simple so it continues to be affordable for everyone and then just fun for all ages, which it is. You can also take pictures of their hay wagon at the front of the house and the decorations all over are so cool and fun. The time it must take to place these little pumpkins all over, I just can't believe the incredible effort these people put in every year to make this a fun place for people to come. I know it's one of my personal favorite places to be and we love this beautiful place that we get to spend time in every October. So don't miss out on the pumpkin patch at 642 St. Anne's Road. Number two and right down the road from the pumpkin patch is the Field of Screams at O'Keefe Ranch. Each year there's multiple themes and this year in 2022 it's called the Theatre of Terror. I love that name and features 18 nights of terror with four different corn mazes, each with its own specific horror movie genre theme. And each one features plots from multiple cinematic horror films. It's my favorite genre, actually. I love horror movies. The first maze is Classics from the Crypt, which recreates the classic horror stories we grew up with, including like Dracula and his haunted castle, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Wolfman, and Frankenstein. Maze number two is Nightmare Next Door, featuring 1980s classic neighborhood horror stories, bringing slasher horror films to life. So that must be like Freddy Krueger and Jason, and who knows who else will come out of the corn. Then maze number three, Forgotten Space, featuring all those sci-fi alien creatures, probably like Alien, and a crashed spaceship. So some eerie extraterrestrial stuff here. Then the fourth maze returning this year due to popular demand, the Dark Maze, which welcomes you to the dark side and proceeds to do its very best to scare the crap out of you with whatever type of demon they happen to choose. This all sounds like a blast. So pick one of the 18 nights available and have some scary fun with the fam here at the Field of Screams. That's at 9380 Highway 97. Third on our list is the Armstrong Pumpkin Festival. This year was the 22nd annual Harvest Pumpkin Festival in Armstrong. And the whole idea was to bring the community together. It is really all about community and literally something for everyone at this particular festival. Armstrong Spell Machine has deep roots in agriculture and community, and literally that's what this festival celebrates. There's a family day with a pancake breakfast, which is awesome. 
scarecrows in the streets, live entertainment, the great pumpkin weigh-in, and by the way, the reigning champion was a thousand pound pumpkin. A thousand pounds, seriously, who grew that thing and was it checked for steroids? And my personal favorite, the pumpkin catapult. I mean, really, who hasn't wanted to do that in their life, right? Right? Is it just me? Anyway, love the pumpkin catapult. There's also a demolition derby too, which is also fun, more smashing things. This year, the proceeds went to a really good cause, supporting the families of that tragic accident that happened a few weeks prior to the festival. Great community event. Definitely join the Pumpkin Festival next year, for sure. Fourth is a Caravan Theatre Walk of Terror at 4886 Salmon River Road. 2022 actually marks the 19th year for the Walk of Terror. This year it's called Spagmos, Spagmos, I'm actually not sure how to say it, let's say Spagmos, which is a 30 minute processional through the fields and forests of the Caravan Farm Theatre, where a huge number of community and professional performers will entertain you. It's all outside, spans 50 acres, and you end the event at the Great Timber Barn. It's kind of cool because each person gets an MP3 player and earphones as well. And so you walk around and it just, it's really, really cool. This year, the Walk of Terror features the pyrotechnic stilt walking wizardry of Kin Shira, Kelowna's circus ensemble, and Freak Motif, which is a Calgary-based eight-piece funk band. There are strobe lights, haze, fog, and I guess disturbing images that aren't recommended for children. So I love that because it means it's going to be really freaky and I'm a big fan of freaky. We're actually going this Friday night so I'm looking forward to it. The show though is only part of the adventure. The other part is the food truck and the bar slash concession. And you can also enjoy a fireside drink and snack. So don't forget to come a bit early or stay a bit late to partake in all the festivities. And last but not least, number five on our list is Gabriel Newman's Ghost Tours. Gabriel Newman II. He will give you a spooky tour of the O'Keefe property this year at O'Keefe Ranch, including the cemetery, I mean, obviously. And you can probably even get a private access to a building or two. The tour is about an hour and 20 minutes through the ghostly hot spots at O'Keefe Ranch. That must be fun. He also does walking tours as well. If you can't make it to O'Keefe Ranch, you can tour through downtown Vernon if you want and entertain you with stories of haunted houses and monsters and gruesome murders and paranormal anomalies and the freak fest in downtown Vernon. I guess he also does private tours, which would also be fun. There's lots of weird ghost stories in Vernon that Gabe knows all the history on. So another fun and weird thing to do right before Halloween. And those are the five cool pre-Halloween festivities in Vernon, BC, and the outlying North Okanagan areas. Don't forget to call the folks that make these riveting videos. And yes, I mean Remax Vernon Salt Fowler. We're here to help make your move to Vernon as fun and as stress-free as possible and the least amount of scariness. Definitely not scary, fun. Call us and just add Halloween. <laughs>